Hi guys, in this video I want to show you what I mean by print and play maps and just how easy it is to use one of these battle maps in your game. Using one of my favourite free maps I'll show you how to import into Roll20 and how to print out a customised map. So first things first, we need to download the map. For this head to 2minutetabletop.com and navigate to the map gallery. So right now there are 16 free maps and 2 paid maps, so just go ahead and choose the ones you want and how much you want to tip for them. For this video I'll be downloading the Shingle Shore. When you're ready to download, head to your cart and then on to the checkout. When you're on the checkout page, enter your name and email address uh, so we can send you your maps in case you want to re-download them. If you're leaving a tip or buying a premium map, you'll be sent to PayPal at this point. Since we're just claiming a free map, we go straight to this receipt page. On this page you'll see the download links to your new maps, so go ahead and download what you need. Alright, so let's say we want to print one of these maps out, download and open up the PDF. In this video I'm using Adobe Reader, but any PDF viewer with layers support should work. Once in the viewer, open up the Layers menu. Here you'll find all the options available to you. Uh, you can choose to print in colour or black and white, and with all the grid options you see here. Now one thing to note, in Adobe Reader the white grid options don't render the same way that they'll print. So using the Layers menu, uh, set up the map the way you'd like to print it, and then head over to the Print dialog. Make sure you tell your printer to print at actual size for the grid to print at the proper dimensions. Or if you play with figurines or otherwise with 1 inch squares, set the print scale to 200%. Now if you play on roll 20, you need only drag and drop the JPEG onto your virtual tabletop. And once it's uploaded, resize the map as you wish and move it to the map and background layer. Next, visit Roll20's page settings and set your desired background color, grid type, and page size. Both a real tabletop and the virtual tabletop, I recommend having an open space around the edges of your map. And you just draw in details as your players or creatures move off the pre-drawn map. Uh, and the pre-drawn map kind of acts as a focal point, but you don't want to confine your players or creatures to it. So I've tried very hard to make the whole process as easy as possible. Hopefully this video demonstrates that. If you have any further questions, leave a comment and I'll be happy to help. Now in my next video, I'll demonstrate how to assemble one of the multi-layered set pieces to create a 2.5 dimension house, complete with a first, second and third floor. If you'd like a sneak peek at the map I'll be using, you can click the screen now and watch the speed draw I made of it. And of course, if you'd like to show your support and see more speed drawings and tutorials, please like, subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time.